Round four of the Turn 7 Racing GT3 Championship Season 5 finds us at Road America on a beautiful morning. Qualifying in pole was AJ Southgate with a time of 2 minutes 3 seconds point 3 with Matt Menestier in P2, Mikhail Bouquet and Rob Taylor on the second row. Drama started early this race with issues occurring on the pace lap itself. Lost line having a spin out of the exit of turn 8, but it was a collision between Joe Newman and Christopher McDuff coming out of Canada Corner that really ensured the start of this race was going to be unusual. The right lane of traffic held up. The struggle to catch up with pacing traffic before the start of the race. Along with some other bumps and bruises during the pace laps, a few other incidents mixed up the field no end as the fifth lap rolled around. So Ross Lang, Aleish Dubinek, Christopher McDuff, Ian McDuff, Leander Froelich and Joa Forsblum amongst those who found themselves trailing at the back of the field within the first five laps. AJ Southgate, however, showed his strength from the outset, stretching out a huge lead in the first five laps. However, the race was still on early. Battle lines were drawn between Michal Bouquet and Robert Taylor. Mod Kiko, Mika Hakala, and Felipe Pinheiro. Dan Blackwell, Nigel Stock, and Thomas Lapodak. An exciting fight between Matt Monestier and Bruno Guedes was cut short as Matt Monestier suffered a loss of control and span out into a wall before lap 10 rolled around. As we approached the 30 minute mark, Stock, De Bratz and George Abbott gave some entertaining tussling that would see positions changing between them for several laps running. And shortly thereafter, Dan Blackwell had a rather enormous crash, coming out of the carousel on lap 16. As the first pit phase loomed ahead, AJ Southgate leading by a cool half a mile. Taylor still battling with Bouquet for P2. Ola Sankvist was leading the pro Anfield with Monkiko just a few seconds behind and Mika Hakala and Philippe Pignor not far behind her. Jundebrecht had broken away from the stock Abbott battle, but Bruno Albino, Marcus Bullheller and Thierry Raffier had joined that fight as it became clear that pit strategy and tyres may well turn the tide of this race. Lafayette, unfortunately spinning on lap 18, would have to put in a lot of tough work if he was going to catch up with the pack. Nuno Canagre and Mod Kiko opted for an earlier pit stop at the end of lap 19, whereas most people would come in on lap 20. This phase would result in some significant gaps opening up with pit lane times ranging from 1 minute 10 by Robert Taylor to 1 minute 12 by Nuno Canagre. That's just looking at the top 5. Though it should be noted 
At the time, MP boxes were very closely matched, suggesting Road America's tricky uphill pit lane was the leading cause of these differences. Devats and Stock decided to take tyres, hoping that fresh boots now would pay dividends by the end of the race. Though there were many gaps out there, Abbott and Bullheller would find themselves back in the thick of the fight almost straight away. The battle between Bouquet and Taylor had opened up, but lap 26 saw Taylor have an unfortunate jump through the meadow after turn 6, losing him that P2 spot. By halfway into the race, the following cars had retired Christopher McDuff, Jorge Pinero, Ross Lang. Jonas Greiner, Joe Newman, Aleish Dubinek, Benjamin Sanderson, Dan Blackwell, and Leonard Orlick. The second half of the race began with a continuing battle between Bouquet and Taylor for P2, Hakala and Kiko for the Pro-Am P2 and P3, McDuff, Ford Blum and Arduino for P15 overall. Fortunately, Mika Hakala's battle came to a premature close in Canada corner and he would have to find battles elsewhere through the rest of the race. Bruno Albino had slipped back from his earlier fight and was now under attack from Nigel Stock and Diego Raffier, which ended with an unfortunate Lamborghini related spin. And just a few minutes later Briquette made and a mistake on approaching lap traffic into the final corner, meaning Taylor regained that P2 spot. During a close, temporarily, for the close battles on track. Final pit stops occurred around lap 40. Summer Ball took tyres, so he dropped quite a few spots in the hopes that his extra pace now would serve him well into this last section. But pitch strategies complete now meant battles have started anew with Bullheller and Ford Blue fighting for P11, P12. With Jörn de Bats and George Abbott. On lap 53, Kiko makes her move to get a pass, completed on Ola Sankovic, moving up to P1 in the Pro Am race, P8 overall. A lot of drama occurred on the last lap here at Road America, with Jörn de Bats finding himself off track into turn 1, losing his white flag battle with Marcus Bullheller. And Bouquet found his way around Taylor, who was suffering from tyre degradation by this time. Bruno Guedes got significant damage from an incident, resulting in him losing his position down from P4 to P6. This would be the same incident that Jörn de Bratz would also get caught up in a few seconds later. The thrilling conclusion to this race, however, must be between Hodak and Vinagre in their huge multi-lap battle.
though George Abbott's victory lap may get an honourable mention for that. In the end, it was AJ Southgate, the winner of the race, with Mikhail Bouquet in P2, Rob Taylor in P3, Thomas Lafodak in P4. 